Hello everyone, hope you are all doing well in this pandemic. Today we are going to implement this uh, Harry Potter profile using constraint layout so you can get uh, to the understanding of the basics of constraint layout. So how we can make uh, effective uh, UI in Android Studio with constraint layout. A uh, complex uh, UI with the less, less uh, time of coding and uh, just using a drag and drop of editor kind of thing and uh, yeah it's really fun with this constraint layout so you can play around with this thing so yeah we are just getting rolled into the editor thing yeah so we are going to design this layout so I have already added all the assets and dependencies needed for this. So here I just added this material design, Google's material design dependency for the materialistic look for the UI. And after that, uh, I just have those assets kind of thing, images and texts, this kind of resources, which we are going to need for this project or app. So yeah just going to get started with this so first of all go to the main main xml and how huh, yes you can get all those these the codes and resources uh, from my github repository you can get that from the description yeah so first of all we need to delete this text view and we are going to start with this background yellow background so for yellow background we are going to add uh, one google's material design card view the reason why i'm using this material design card view is for uh, if you see the layout you can notice here it's having only the rounded edges towards down side of both the end of both the downside of bottom of the edges it is rounded but not the upper side of the edges are not rounded so here we need to add this kind of uh, thing in using this material card and we have some special properties attributes which are been helpful for making this kind of rounded edges so yeah we are going to add the this material design card view then we are going to add a background color for this color accent and yeah we are done with this code part and we are going to the designing one and here you can see that it's a uh, warning us or uh, it's giving giving us an error for adding the constraint for the widget like if you can see that's a dotted thing this dotted thing allows us to attach the UI widgets with uh, the whoever widgets it's going to reference in. For example, if you add a button, you need to reference those button to the other view or the parent layout of this view. Otherwise, it, it can be shown in this editor thing, but it, it won't be so in the output. Just click on this dotted button and drag it to the side of the part where you want to reference it or constrain it uh, now, uh, and one and now the top one yeah it's done and now we are going to add this rounded button rounded edges so the way you can add this rounded edges by using this property is shape appearance here I have made this custom shape appearance by making this style here you can find that we are using the corner family and corners family size for this rounded edges so another way of this implementing this rounded edges are using drawable but uh, if you using a drawable it will create another file for the resources which may cause the in the apk size app size all over app size so i prefer this kind of uh, uh, styling part so it may it will be helpful for the apk size also and it uh, it is really looking good and like ux 
uh, from the perspective of the UX and UI you can really be a good design for this so yeah it's uh, done with the yellow background now we will be adding this card view so before we add this card view you can see it's uh, having a one space between both the sides so how we can get this kind of a space if you think of that adding a margin and adding, adding you can give this kind of a thing yeah you can do that but uh, in constraint layout it uh, provides uh, some of the inbuilt features like guides which is been really helpful for designing because it's if you add margin and padding it will be adding some of the boilerplate codes and we have to manage all those things so it is really helpful for if you're using uh, multiple views and you have to add the similar margin and margin from both the sides and wherever the angle wherever the sides you want to add so it's having a 20 db for the starting one and what this guide do is it's an invisible line which is referencing the space between this thing so that it it's showing this this card view have the limitations of view to this much only so yeah we will be going to add this with it's having a 20 dp so we are going to re, re adding renaming that to, to 24 dp and uh, we are going to add another one because it's a uh, only having a starting one so I just want to rename it to start guide and here we are going to add another one it is the and guide it is if you click on that it will change the direction of the uh, guide so it is having another dp so we are rename it to 24 dp yeah now it's perfect for the sizing of both the side now we are going to add the card view for this thing so you just type in material card view match parent not match parent but here here i'm using uh, 200 dp for static as, as this uh, card view doesn't have any content so uh, for start initial state we have to add the 200 dp for the so in, in so that we can see where the constraint is adding towards us and width might be the 0 dp so that we can add the constraint with whatever where we want so here we are adding it's important to add as a 0 dp for the width because if you add this 0 dp yeah if i am adding this to this line it will be limited to that much only it's not going too far from that so now you can see it's 7200 db so it will be automatically overview now i want to add another horizontal guide so what this guide will do is to support the support the height width of this so that it doesn't move around so we know this yellow background having the height of 150 db so we are going to add the its uh, constraint to 200 db yeah and then we are going to assign this constraint to it yeah let's add it both top and bottom because it will be center right between this thing and here yeah. If you can see it's having the rounded corner see how we can add this rounded corner is like you can find this card corner radius and we are going to add this 10 db yeah if you can see it's having a rounded corners now we have this profile picture so how we can add this profile picture as in rounded shape so from palettes i'm going to add a card view here not card view at first but we need to add some guide before because it will help the profile image to don't move around over these things now we are going to use the guide with percentage thing 
percentage will make up if we don't know anything if we don't know about the exact dp of the constraint so we can use this percentage then it will be adding the percentage of uh, whatever we need to that that constraint so we are going to adding a constraint from starting of the screen to 35 percent yeah and i'm going to add another guide of vertical and this time if you see it's uh, having the starting one as in 35 so it might be having the ending from ending it will be 65 percentage so it will be equally from both the side now i'm going to add another card view between these those two and uh, in this card view we are uh, setting up the height as an 80 dp height would be the 80 db it's will be static because we don't we know that uh, height not might be that much of the profile width but uh, the width we provide is need to be cut out to 0 db so that we can add that 0 db to this much only uh, yeah why it is not adding it says 0 dp now we just have to add that from bottom constraint and top constraint at the same point so that it will be in the center of the card it's in some problem so we are just going to add first here then going to add this here and going to add that one so if you can see it's having a thing now here you can see it's having the square one but we are not getting a, this as a square one yeah rounded one so what we going to do is adding the ratio by clicking on this thing so it's a ratio of one by one so now it's getting it into square now we just add have to add the radius of that thing so we know that it's a height of 80, 80 db so we just have to add the card radius as in half so it might it will be circle circular of in shape so half of that height is 40 db and here you can see it's rounded now just we have to add the image to it that card yeah yeah it's added now just change the image view attribute to match parent and match parent and the scale type of that image to center crop now if you see it's quite a bit looking like this now we are going to add this text thing so just come to this text one so if you see it's a card view thing so if you add this card view it will be automatically getting into the uh, corner of it so we don't need this one so we have to add the another layout inside it so we are going to add another constraint layout into that card view and here you can see it's having the constraint so now we just have to add the text view from this side to and drag that constraint to here we don't need to add the bottom of it but we need to add the top of it or you can add another guide here like horizontal one and if you remember the height of this card view profile picture card view is an 80 dp so here it is going to add as a half of that so we can add this guide to 40 dp, 40 dp as in half of the image yeah and it will be automatically 
as a, used as a new edge of this card view it will not add any of that uh, text view above this you just have to add a constraint towards it and now we are going to add some margin from the above 8 dp and yeah we are just changing the text to person name and we are going to change the style of the text view to title text then we are going to add another one which will be constraint to the top of it and this side of it you know, again we have to go into add this 8 margin and we are going to add person work as in wizard and again the style as a content Title text or content text. Okay, then we just need to another this button. So for button, we are using material button. Wrap content, wrap content, and you can add the, that material button inside this card. going to add the corner size of like for example if you have width height of 50 dp we are going to add the corner radius to 25 dp so it's a half of this it will be rounded corner and we are going to add text as connect button string yeah if you see it it's already there now we are going to add the constraint it's added and the margin from above as in 8 dB now here you can see it's having those two icon but it doesn't have this this guide inside it so it will not be accessible inside that thing so we need to add another two guide guide of a same percentage starting one with 35 another one it will be 65 yeah. now you can add those images so 
starting and bottom of it it will be button thing and starting of it will be this one and center will be this same as the this one so starting with this ending with this top bottom constraint and top constraint it will centered align then just we have to add the text another text view with the same thing Here we are going to add this attribute text view attribute as match parent but we are going to add some of the margin 16 dp 16 dp and above as in 18 dp 8 dp now we are going to add the text of this text view What this issue is with this layout is we have we didn't we didn't change the layout height from static to wrap content. So here you can see what it is getting inside. And uh, here we are having one problem with this constraint one is that uh, middle constraint whatever this have is not adding this height from this one so we just need to add some more padding adding margin of that constraint so it will be seen here now we just have to add the back button mm -hmm. just drag it from here to here common images back button you have to just add that to back button to this one 30 dp 30 dp now here you can see it's not visible here so what you have to do is just go to that go to that image back button image yeah here it's here and just uh, get the elevation for it if you add elevation over it it automatically come above of that okay now we will be adding the constraint only the starting of it 16 dp 16 dp and we are going to add some padding over this uh, images so we are going to add some 5 dp padding over it and going to change the color of the image tint it's already white now it's good to go and then yeah what here it have is we can change that uh, card attributes as an constraint of chain like if you have see this it's having a chain one two three and four this four widgets having a chain so it's one second one material button third one and that's having a text one so if you see it's a 
becoming a chain so how we can add a chain is right click on all the selected thing and select a some change whichever is chain having the vertical one so we will be adding vertical chain and if you just click on it and change the vertical to this one yeah it's done now you just have to run so i'm going to skip this video until it's a gradle building so after the gradle building i will show you the output yeah you can see here it's having this one issue with this thing so whatever the chaining we have changed that to yeah it's solved now we just have to read on the app and it will be yeah you can see here we are we have built this gradle sorry not gradle there's a constraint layout ui which is really complex with the traditional layout thing we can build this kind of a complex uh, layout without any without not much of code and we just have to drag and drop and yeah you can use this guides to make this kind of effective ui which will be really helpful in different kind of device sizes and screen sizes it is really helpful for this for rapid and really fast execution and implementations of uh, the ui designs so that's for this video if you like this video just give us a thumbs up as it's, it's my channel is new in the youtube so hope for your support until then next video thank you